I just got to see Space Jam in the movies. I don't know if I've ever had that happen before when I was little, a little human being. I don't know if I was seeing these things on the screen. And now that I'm 30, <laughs> sitting pretty purdy, watching something from childhood. And that's cool. That's good. Because when I watched the sequel and I did a freestyle, I was feeling feeble because I had a dream to be on some NBA team. And that's not the reality I'm seeing. But this time around, what an amazing sound of, for one, hearing this compilation of beautiful credit music, but also the movie, even though I was kind of dozing through it, I tend to do it once in a while. I stopped doing it for a while, but now I'm doing it again before this freestyle. But I still appreciate this movie that they chose to make. And it's great. This is special. Even if I was daydreaming because I've seen it before or I was almost starting to fall into a little bit towards slumber. Not all the way, just a little bit in that direction. This is still a great number. And I got to experience it. This is pretty legit. When I was a little kid, I may not even have gotten to see it in the theater. But now, I do. Because I happen to view online that this was going to be on. So I called. And here I am. Because I found out this is the original Space Jam. And for some reason, towards the end, and I was thinking about freestyling, the concept or the theme that I wanted to be freestyling potentially about is what is love? Why? Who knows? It might be the credit music and its glow. Just little mini episodes of taste testing of different music flows. And some of them are about love, so I don't know if that's where it's coming from, but how far will you go? And how does love grow? And how is that soul? And Bugs Bunny, I was thinking during this movie of how he thinks out of the box and incredibly kind of, biz I guess you could say bizarre ways. Because this whole game happened because he decided to add a page to a rule book that wasn't even a rule book. It was how to draw these comic figures or whatever that we take a look at. But they didn't meet their match as far as a mental creative person. Now they're handicapped at that. That's why he said maybe there isn't any intelligent life in the universe after all. But now they're playing basketball because he thought of a way for them not to be slaves right away. And then even when in their last quarters they were feeling low he was a supporter by making up the concept of secret water. There's different unique ways to look at this movie, just like there's different unique ways to look at life. So maybe even if we're feeling down and out like I did after freestyle in the sequel, maybe we can find a way to reroute and be creative like Bugs Bunny as we fight our own evils. Listen up, people. Dunk that ball. I'm sitting down, but a little bit later, I'll be standing tall. Six foot six, same height as Michael Jordan. But I'm not wearing my North Carolina kicks because I didn't come from North Carolina. I'm from the Midwest. And maybe this is just the middle of my life. We'll see how I progress.